palms to your heart. Set an intention for your practice today. Release your palms down. Make your way onto all fours. Shoulders over the wrist, hips over the knees, setting up for cat cow, spreading the fingertips. Inhale, arching, looking up. Exhale, rounding the spine, tuck the chin, tuck the tailbone. Inhale, arching, peeling the shoulders back. Exhale, rounding, pulling the belly in. Inhale. And exhale. Come back to neutral. Flip the palms back, fingertips face the knees. Continue, cat-cow. Inhale, arching, looking up. Exhale, rounding the spine. Inhale, arching. Make sure you press the fingertips into the mat. Exhale, rounding. Inhale. Exhale. Flip the palms back, and now come onto your fingertips, making a cup with your fingertips. Cat-cow, inhale, arching. Exhale, rounding, really pull the belly in. Inhale, arching. Continue, exhale, moving the scapulas away from the spine. Inhaling, and exhale. Bring the palms back to neutral, grounding them down. Tuck the toes, downward facing dog, Adho Mukha Svanasana. Lift the heels. Start to pedal out the feet, bending the right knee, bending the left knee. Move with your breath. Really root all 10 fingertips down, taking the shoulders away from the ears and relaxing the head. Inhaling, bending. Exhale, straightening, and eventually coming back to downward dog. Come up onto your tippy toes, undulate and roll the spine forward until your shoulders are over your wrists. Lower the knees down, and then lay all the way down onto the belly. Unflex the feet, airplane the arms out, lifting the chest, press the pubic bone down the tops of the feet, crown of the head forward, inhale, and exhale slowly lower down push back to downward facing dog breathe Look forward in between your hands. Take a walk to the front of the mat. Feet hip distance apart. Inhale, lengthen your spine. Peel the shoulders back. Exhale, folding forward. Weight of the pelvis over the ankles. Inhale, lengthen your spine. Crown of the head forward. Seat pushes back. Exhale, folding forward. Inhale, lengthening, lengthening. Heart is open. And exhale, folding forward. Bring your palms on your shin bones. Arms are straight. Push into your shin bones. Move the seat back, the crown of the head forward. Extend the arms forward and then come all the way up to standing. Reaching the palms up. Exhale, hands to heart center. For a moment, reconnect to your intention. Release the palms down. And then inhale, reach the arms up above the head. Urdhva Hastasana. Long spine, keep the biceps in line with the ears. Fold Uttanasana. Inhale, halfway lift. Open up the chest. Exhale, bend the knees, ground the palms. Step back to a plank. Slowly bring your knees down, bend the elbows down, variation of Chaturanga. Unflex the feet, inhale up to Cobra, 
Open the chest, squeeze the shoulder blades, exhale, downward facing dog. Inhale, lift the right leg up, bend the knee and open up the hip into downward facing scorpion. Try to draw that left hip back slightly and then make big circles with the right knee, pointing the right knee up, in and around. Big circles, opening up the hip joint. Well, eventually lifting that right knee up. Inhale, come up high onto the left tippy toes. Exhale, bring the right knee behind the right armpit, shoulders over the wrist, and then place that right foot forward. Take the left knee down. Turn the toes out of the right foot. Place your palm on the right inner thigh and gently externally rotate open the hip. Breathe the hip into a nice deep external rotation. Tone the lower belly, open up the chest. Deep breath in and exhale. Return the toes back forward. Ground the palms, kick back to downward facing scorpion. Lifting that right knee all the way up and then eventually returning that right foot down. Switching sides, left leg lifts, bend the knee, open up the hip. Point that left knee up to the sky and then start your leg circles, making big circles with the left knee. Out, back in and up. Think about the internal and external rotation of the hip. Up, down, in and back up. Big circles. Eventually taking that left knee back up, coming up high onto the right tippy toes, taking an inhale, exhale, knee crunches behind the left armpit, and then place the left foot down. Right knee comes down, the toes of the left foot point out to the left corner of the mat. You can lift the inner mound of the left foot, flex the feet, opening up the hip. Shoulders back, lean back, chin lifts, deep breath in, tone the lower belly to protect the lower back, allow the pelvis to settle heavy, and then slowly release. Palms come back down, kick it back down, we're facing scorpion. Good. And then place the left foot back down, down we're facing dog. Look forward in between your hands, Take a little hop into a squat to the outer edges of your mat, landing in a squat in Malasana. Turn the toes out, hands to the heart. Allow your pelvis to sink forward. And as you push your palms into one another, ch the chest opens up slightly. Bring your palms down in front of you. Lean your body forward and just bow your third eye to the mat and then tip the pelvis back down towards the heels. Bow the head forward in front of the palms, tip the pelvis back like a seesaw, bowing down and then coming back into a squat. Pressing the palms, this time come for lift off, crow, bring the heels towards the seat, tone the lower belly, breathe pushing the palms into the earth, balancing, and then slowly coming back down. Down, flip the back of the palms down, make a strong fist, and then open the palm. Strong fist and open the palms wide, just to give the wrists a stretch. Eventually bring your palms back to neutral. Bring the feet closer together. You'll be on the balls of the feet and the heels touch. Start to shift the heels together, balls of the feet on the earth. Lift the seat up, sit behind the heels. Garlandasana, place your palms underneath your heels and direct your pelvis back and the crown of your head down. Making a little ball, allowing the pelvis to settle towards the earth. Breathe, allow the spine to round. Relax the head completely and then slowly release. Palms come down, knees drop down, unflex the feet, bring the big toes to touch, knees as wide as the mat, bring the palms forward, inhale, shift the pelvis forward, bend like you would in Chaturanga, 
coming onto the belly and exhale pushing all the way back to a child's pose again knees wide so inhale shift the pelvis past the knees lower down onto the chest onto the belly exhale pushing the seat back towards the heels very important that the toes stay touching even when you bend down onto the belly toes stay together and then pushing back again toes stay together knees stay wide going on to the belly and exhale pushing back inhale coming on to the belly this time you can hold here do your best to keep your big toes touching you could bring your palms underneath your forehead try to relax knees are wide toes are touching let your pelvis settle walk your palms back move your sit bones back towards your heels tuck the toes lift the pelvis up ground the feet and just fold shake out any tension sway from side to side head is relaxed Breathe, let your upper body just hang like a pendulum over the legs. And then slowly roll up one vertebrae at a time, letting the arms just dangle. Once you come up to standing, inhale, reaching the arms up and exhale, hands to the heart. Come standing on your mat, toes out, heels in, and squat into a goddess stance push your palms firmly into your thighs to lengthen the crown of the head towards the sky chest is open spine long now start to shift your weight from side to side make sure your glutes are firing your inner knees are moving back towards your outer thighs Keep shifting the weight. Inhale, reaching the arms up above the head. Exhale, hands to the heart. Start to shift your weight to the right foot, pivoting onto the toes of the back foot. The left palm's gonna come down. Right arm reaches up to the sky. And then press your foundation. Inhale, windmill the arms up, coming back into that goddess stance. Palms are open. And then exhale, switching sides. So try to do this movement slow and fluid and use your foundation to push up, windmill the arms, switching sides again. Stay low in your stance, squat, open the palms, shifting the weight into a revolving lunge on the other side. Again, Windmill the arms up, switching. Make sure you're using your breath, moving slow with mindfulness and awareness, coming back into the lunge. Inhale, coming back to center. Squat, open palms, squeeze the shoulder blades, sit, 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 and then inhale, reach the arms up, exhale, hands to the heart. Give the legs a break, straighten them. Rest your right palm on your heart, your left palm on your belly, and just settle in with the breath. Reconnecting to your breath, reconnecting to the intention. Bend the knees again. Palms don't come on the inner thighs. Now bend your elbows, chest is perpendicular to the earth. Inhale exhale straight in the right arm pushing that right inner thigh back and bend the left elbow twist inhale center and exhale switch twisting making sure you're stacking the shoulders inhale center exhale switch again inhaling and exhale, switch one more time. Coming back to center, both elbows bend. And now point the toes forward and fold. 
pressing the feet down, squeezing the quads so the kneecaps lift up. Feel your breath. Where is your breath moving in the body? Come out of the forward fold. Turn your toes out again. Palms now will grip the ankles. Elbows and knees are bent. Shift your weight from side to side. Your elbows are encouraging the calves and the inner thighs to move back as you open the hips. As you shift the weight from side to side, keep the chest low and straighten the opposite leg. Bring your palms down, right knee bends. Now sit as low as you can without letting the sit bones touch. Flex the left foot, open up the chest and try to lengthen your spine. Really sink down into that right hip. Inhale, coming to center. Exhale, switching sides. Left inner knee is moving back towards the left outer thigh. Right foot is flexing. Drive the right heel forward. Open up the chest. Breathing. Don't forget your breath. Inhale, coming to center. Exhale, switch sides once again. This time, take the right arm across the right shin bone, plant the palm down, and inhale, sweep the left arm up towards the sky. Heart is open, squeeze the shoulder blades, sink low into the pelvis, deep breath in, and exhale, slowly lower that left palm down. Switching sides, bending down into that left hip, Left arm comes across the shin bone, plant the palm, reaching that right arm up. Lean the torso back, keep moving the left inner knee back towards the left outer thigh. Drive that right heel forward, toes flexing, breathe. One more breath. And exhale, slowly lower the right palm down, coming back to center. Toes forward, inhale, lengthen and exhale folding forward long spine fire up the quads opening up the back of the knees firmly grounding and pressing the outer edges of the feet into the earth breathing deep slowly releasing Heel toe the feet in, take your time and make your way to a seated position on your mat. Feet together, knees apart, Baddha Konasana, close the eyes and start fluttering the knees. Lengthen your spine, direct your internal attention down to the pelvic floor and keep fluttering, gentle. If you have any knee issues, you can just stay stagnant in this pose or extend your legs out. Keep fluttering, keep breathing. Come to stillness, lock the big toes, inhale, lift the chest, exhale, pour your chest forward over the toes, and exhale, round the spine, lean back. And then inhale, waving and undulating the spine over this Baddha Konasana. And exhale, lean back, pull the belly in. Inhale, moving the chest forward. And exhale, leaning back. Make sure you pull the belly in really strong. And then come up, drive your chest forward. And exhale, roll back up, pulling the belly in. Rounding the spine, inhale, arching opening the chest, clavicles and shoulders wide. Eventually land in this forward fold and then slowly come up. Bring your legs straight out in front of you. Shake them out a bit. Shake, 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 shake. And bring your right knee into bend. Take your left shin bone across your chest. Explore different ways of holding your shin 
while lengthening your spine. You may want to hug it in or you may just want to lay back in a simple figure four stretch. If you chose to stay seated, start to rock the leg like a baby, very gently opening the hip. Make sure you're bringing your chest towards your shin, flexing the left foot. Rocking, rocking, rocking. Sitting up tall. And now guide the left knee back towards your left armpit and beyond. So we want to invite the hip to open in a deeper external rotation. Bring the left forearm across the foot or simply clasp the foot. Now you're going to start to draw and invite that left knee back while keeping a nice long spine very gently. Take small micro movements to open the hip. And then you're eventually going to lay all the way down in your back. You can extend the right leg out in front of you and draw the left knee down onto the earth. Bring the right leg up and then swing it back down, not all the way down to the ground. Just let it float a foot or two. Inhale, swinging the right leg up and down. Now you have to try to keep that left knee down towards the earth and magnetize the inner thighs towards the midline, even in this position. Keep floating the right leg up and down. And then let that right leg just hang for a few breaths. And eventually make your way back up to a seated position. You're going to either take that left leg into Janu Sursasana, so the left foot against the left inner thigh, folding forward, or you could bring that left foot over into a half lotus pose. Again, choose the option that works for your body today. If you're in half lotus, reach the left arm out, come around, grip the foot with the left palm, and the right palm goes for the outer edge of the foot, folding forward, breathing. Breathe, allow the chest to lower. Slowly coming up, release the foot and extend that left leg out. Shake it out, shake, 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 shake. Very important to be gentle with yourself and do not force anything. Second side, bending the left knee, taking that right shin bone, hugging it into the chest. Again, explore different options of holding your shin. Again, another option is just to simply lay back and enjoy a more restorative, simple posture of the figure four stretch. If you choose sitting up, Hug that right shin bone back in and rock gently. Try to sit up tall, rolling more on the frontal sitting bones, flexing the right foot. Very important, spreading the toes to protect the knee. Rocking, rocking, rocking. And now you're going to guide that right knee past your right armpit, inviting your hip into a deeper external rotation and start to draw that right knee back and back and back, eventually laying down, extending the left leg up. Right knee touches the earth. If you notice, my right foot is facing up towards the sky. Knee is on the earth. The left leg is moving up and down. The inner thighs are gently magnetizing towards the midline. Inhale, lift the leg up. 
and let it lower down about a foot or two away from the earth inhale up and exhale lower down inhale up exhale lower down hold there for a few breaths and then swing back up to a seated position either land that right knee bent so the right foot's on the inner thigh Janu Shrasasana folding forward simple easy effective variation or you could bring that right foot on top of the left thigh for a half lotus again don't force if it's available to you reach that right arm behind to grip the right toes left palm goes for the outer edge of the left foot and fold forward breathe try to lower your right rib cage down a little bit more relax the jaw on the face Deep breath in, long, slow breath out. And slowly inhale, coming up, releasing the right foot. Shaking it out, shake, 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 shake. Shake, 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 shake. Shake out the legs. Good, move the toes in and out creating internal and external rotation. And then bend the knees, take the feet behind you, coming forward into downward facing dog. Push into the palms, bring the chest towards the upper thighs, completely relax the head. Lift the sit bones up, 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 up and apart. Spin the shoulders away from the ears. And then make your way back down onto your knees. Draw the tailbone down, interlace the hands behind you, and simply lift the chest. Easy variation of camel. Just opening up the front of the body. Be gentle. And now bring your palms down and you're going to cross the right ankle over the left knee. The right knee has to be down on the earth as well. Walk the palms back. Try to come up to a kneeling position. Tuck your tailbone. Right arm comes underneath the left. Eagle the arms and pull your scapulas away from the spine. As you open up the back, also draw your tailbone down, navel in and up. Try to bring the outer hip bones in towards the belly. Release the arms. Bring the palms back down. And extend that right leg back, flexing the foot and drawing the heel back for a few pulses. Switching sides, left ankle crosses over the right knee. Both knees need to be grounded. Walk the palms back and come up to kneeling position. Draw the tailbone down and navel up. Eagle the arms, left arm underneath, draw your elbows up and pull your scapulas away from your spine. At the same time, draw the tailbone down, the navel in and up, outer hip bones hug in towards the belly, breathing, deep breath in and exhale, uncross the arms, lower the palms down, release that left foot. Left leg straightens, pulse back a few times. And release. Sitting. So now we go into lotus practice. Now our hips should be nice and open for a full lotus practice. First, just place your right ankle on top of your left thigh. Just see how that feels. If your knee is popping up, that is a good indication that your hips are still a little bit tight and full lotus is not necessary today. It is important not to force this posture. You can always just sit in these more simple seated postures. Keeping it safe is always best. 
If you have a full lotus practice, you can guide your right ankle on top of your right thigh, drawing it in towards the left side of the belly. And then simply don't yank, just slide the left ankle on top of the thigh to sit in full lotus padmasana. Again, if you feel any discomfort in the knees, immediately come out and just choose any cross-legged seated position. And if that's not working for you, Shavasana, laying on your back, is always there for you. Hands to the heart. Take a moment to reconnect to your intention. And then release the posture. Shake out the legs. And simply lay back. Palms facing up. Shavasana. Take a deep breath in. And a long, slow, slow breath, breath out. out. Deep breath in. And slow breath out. Starting to prepare the body to drift away. into a deeper state of relaxation with the sounds.